welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be reading you the book Gilberto and the Wind. But before I read you the story, I want to teach you a new word. Or if you already know it, review it. The word is personification. Personification is when an author or illustrator gives the qualities of a person to a thing, object, or animal. A great example of personification is the book Peter Rabbit, written and illustrated by Beatrix Potter. In Peter Rabbit, the rabbits wear clothes, speak English words to each other, and walk on their back legs, all like people do. In the book I'm going to read to you today, the author and illustrator, Marie Hall Etz, is going to give the qualities of a person to the wind. For example, the book opens when the wind whispers to Gilberto. You can look for other examples of personification throughout the story. I hope you love it. Gilberto and the Wind Written and illustrated by Marie Hall Etz. I am Gilberto, and this is the story of me and the wind. I hear wind whispering at the door. You, he whispers. You. So I get my balloon and I run out to play. At first, wind is gentle and just floats my balloon around in the air. But then, with a jerk, he grabs it away and carries it up to the top of a tree. Wind! Oh, wind, I say. Blow it back to me, please. But he won't. He just laughs and whispers, you. Wind loves to play with the wash on the line. He blows the pillow slips into balloons and shakes the sheets and twists the apron strings. And he pulls out all the clothes pins that he can. Then he tries on the clothes, though he knows they're too small. loves umbrellas. Once when I took one out in the rain, he tried to take it away from me. And when he couldn't, he broke it. If the gate in the pasture is left unlatched, Wind plays with that, too. He opens it up, then bangs it shut, making it squeak and cry. Wind! Oh, wind, I say, and I go and climb on. Give me a ride. But with me on it, the gate is too heavy. Wind can't move it at all. When the grass is tall in the meadow, Wind and I like to race. Wind runs ahead, then comes back and starts over, but he always wins. Because he just runs over the top of the grass and I have to run through it and touch the ground with my feet. When the big boys on the hill have kites to fly, Wind helps them out. Wind carries their kites way up to the sky and all around. But when I have a kite, Wind won't fly it at all. He just drops it. Wind! Oh, wind, I say, I don't like you today.
When the apples are ripe in the fall, I run with wind to the pasture and wait under the tree. And wind always blows one down for me. And when I have a boat with a paper sail, wind comes and sails it for me, just as he sails big sailboats for sailors on the sea. And when I have a pinwheel, wind comes and plays too. First I blow it myself to show him how. Then I hold it out or hold it up. And wind blows it for me. And when he blows it, he turns it so fast that it whistles and sings and all I can see is a blur. Wind likes my soap bubbles best of all. He can't make the bubbles, I have to do that. But he carries them way up into the air for the sun to color. Then he blows some back and makes me laugh when they burst in my eyes or on the back of my hand. When the leaves have fallen off the trees, I like to sweep them into a pile, but then wind comes along. And just to show that he can sweep without a broom, wind scatters the leaves all about again, and he blows the dirt in my face. Sometimes wind is so strong, he starts breaking the trees and knocking down fences. Then I'm afraid. I run in the house and lock the door. And when wind comes howling after me and tries to squeeze in through the keyhole, I tell him no. But then comes a day when wind is all tired out. Wind, I whisper. Oh wind, where are you? Shh, answers the wind, and he stirs one dry leaf to show where he is. So I lie down beside him and we both go to sleep under the willow tree. The end. I hope you enjoyed hearing the story, Gilberto and the Wind. If you'd like to email me and let me know what examples of personification you found, I would love to hear from you. That's all I have for you today, but I will see you in my next video. Bye for now.